I know it's kind of crazy, but Bear Creek has made a bolt action upper for AR-15. Let me tell you about my experiences with this build. We'll go over what we had to do to make this happen and my experiences so far with it. Today's video is brought to you by a Sunway Photo Tripod. A Sunway Photo Tripod is holding you up right now. Uh, this is the inverted leg that I use for most of my filming. It's also the main one that I used at uh, my long range training a couple weeks ago. Very durable, very light. Love my Sunway Photo Tripods. We have had a great experience with Sunway. They make good stuff. It is not cheap, low quality items. It is good stuff. A lot of things that they do that I like uh, most of them come with a ball head. Now, you can upgrade to a nicer ball head, but I haven't done that. I've been using the ball head that comes with it. Uh, I've got a lot of their accessories, including an iPad holder. Right now, you're on a Sunway Photo mount that clips right into the Arca. I've been switching most of my guns to Arca, and you don't need any adapters when you buy the Sunway Photo. It pops right in. Things like having that built in where you don't have extra stuff to buy kind of saves some money. I like that about Sunway Photo because the tripods aren't cheap. They're a premium product, and they do cost a little bit of money. Uh, I have three or four different models that I use all the time. You've seen the shorty that we use even as a mount. I also use it as a camera mount as well. Uh, when I go out to hunt, I'm taking two or three tripods with me every single time. I don't leave without them, and I don't know how I hunted and did all the stuff before our Sunway Photo. Uh, they're that good. I like them. I think you will too. Let's get back to the video. Lower receiver here on this build is from AT3 Tactical. Uh, this was a gift from them. We uh, have a great relationship with AT3, uh, very supportive of what we're doing here, and they are fantastic guys. I like to recommend companies that are good people. Now, this one has the Teslong. This is a different model, uh, a little higher resolution on this one. This is one of the medium lower resolutions and this Teslong here is the highest resolution and I've been putting it on a gun. This is what I shot a pig with the other day. Uh, we also shot with this on six arc, I believe, and took a coyote uh, about a month ago. Been playing with them. They record video, they record photos. They have a lot of good features. They don't have everything, uh, but they're not priced like they have everything either. Odin works down there for the Arca rail and we have the very first 8.6 blackout suppressor. Uh, this is the Dead Air Primal and it's just got the direct mount there because Bear Creek put uh, the conventional 308 threading on here just in a 30 cal. So be aware of that. It is threaded differently than the taper from Q and from Faxon and Mostech does a lot of that taper. I really like the taper. It is a little bit complicated when you're swapping suppressors between all these different platforms. For most of you, that won't be a problem because you're probably not switching yours in between the number of projects that I have here. Then of course, Die Free Company Grip. Uh, you're pretty much gonna see a Die Free Company on everything. Uh, again, good people over there. AT3 Tactical. Um, put the trigger on here. It's not a bad trigger. It's just a mil spec drop-in trigger, but it's like NIB coded. It's a little heavy for my preference and I do feel that it could affect my shooting. Um, and then of course the Bear Creek upper, I uh, had to put a different handguard on there, which is why you see that little gap there. Don't pay attention to that. We'll get it fixed eventually or I don't know, maybe not, we'll see. Then on to the action here. So this is a bolt action upper for your AR-15. If you're a bolt action guy, this is not a buttery smooth action. Bear Creek did not make this action to compete with those $1,000 uh, bolt actions that are, on the, uh, that are on the market. So those receivers are very nice and they're $1,000. This entire thing with a barrel and a handguard and the bolt action upper uh, is around $300. So you're, so you're not getting a buttery smooth action. It is a little clunky. Uh, when we first ran this, I ran it as it came, which was a 16 inch Grendel. And it shot pretty darn well. Unfortunately, I did not get to group test it because a little bit of a rush. We had an opportunity to go hunting. I threw this together the night before the hunt. We have a Faxon barrel on here. This Faxon barrel is actually threaded like the Bear Creek with the 308 pattern on it. And so I was able to just use that mount for this. This is a 12, 12 and a half inch barrel. I don't remember. I think it's 12, uh, 338 arc. So we've converted this from a Grendel to an arc. 
cool thing about that is they take the same bolt. So uh, you can swap this out for any, I could swap this bolt and use the same action and I could put a 5.56 barrel on here or um, anything else that's that AR-15 size caliber. Got a Grendel bolt in there now so it runs all of the arc. We could go 6 arc, 22 arc, uh, of course 338 arc. Right now it's a 338 arc and the way that the action is built, it was not intended to, you know, to really shoot those subsonics that are big and fat. So I did have a little bit of feeding running the subs. The supers ran fine, just even with a Grendel mag or a 400 Legend mag. Um, I've kind of found the 400 Legends to be the best option for you guys running 338 arcs. Um, but a 6.8 SPC mag uh, also works a little bit. Even a Grendel mag, especially if you're running supers, um, they, they seem to feed a whole lot better just because of the design of the bullet. Um, I had to single load my subsonics in here. So a bit of a bummer, but it, you know, we weren't rapid firing or anything. We were running a bolt action, so totally fine. The other 338 arc right here uh, feeds and loads supers just fine. I, probably just the way the bolt action interfaces on here, no problem. On here, the subs fed a little clunky sometimes. So if you get one of these and you wanna do a barrel swap on it like I did, you're going to need to block off your gas port because we don't need a gas port because we're not a gas operated system. And the cool thing about that is Bear Creek came with a blocker ring, uh, one set screw, it blocks the hole and you pretty much run it in there just like, you can kind of see it in there. There's no gas tube, but we do have uh, the gas port blocked. and. Luckily, the journal on there, the gas journal, was the same size between what they sent me at Bear Creek. I don't know if Bear Creek will offer those. Just if you if you if you need a different size, you can always just take a regular gas block and spin it and clamp it down over on the flat side, and that would totally work as well. I am still a little undecided on 338 arc. I've got quite a bit of ammo, so we're still going to do quite a bit of testing with it. Um, we have shot a pig with it. Um, it's nice that it's an AR-15, but I'm still defaulting back to the 8.6 Blackout. Um, also, you guys don't seem to be quite as interested in 338 ARC, uh, especially compared to 8.6 Blackout. Now, I really think that 338 ARC is probably better than 300 Blackout. The main things that would go against that argument would be 300 Blackout has all those 308 bullet options for subs and supers. There's been crazy stuff happening with 300 Blackout, kind of along with the bullet technology that 8.6 pushed us. We're seeing a resurgence in pushing for 300 Blackout. I don't own a 300 Blackout. It's kind of been on my list for a while, but we've just been busy with other projects and other interests. There could be a 300 Blackout build because... Phantom Defense makes a really good sub and super, and Howworks also makes a really good sub and super. There's lots of companies. Uh, we even shot some of the Borax stuff from uh, Callaway Ballistics 300 Blackout. I don't know what I'm missing, but I might get it just you know to show off and test and compare. Um, as of right now, if you want an AR-15, go 338 Arc. Uh, probably leave Spectre alone. It's a little. A little less available and given that Hornady's pushing arc that it's a little bit more available you'll see it on the shelf at all the retailers if you want something small and compact it's a good option if you already have a 300 blackout try some of that new ammo I don't know that you're missing too much now I will say that 300 blackout accuracy is not as good as people exaggerate and brag for it to be at least in my experience I've seen a ton of people struggle with 300 blackout accuracy, especially in the subs. So it could be that ARC has a bit of an advantage there. There's just not a lot of ammo on the market and the subsonic ammo from Hornady, the powder that they're using is a little bit loud. Uh, you can hear in some of these clips, uh, it's loud. They're using a pretty poppy powder. Uh, there's some other powder choices that are much quieter. I know that these boutique companies are able to customize their powders a little bit more and choose a powder that is quieter. And I know uh, Phantom has done that. I know Howworks has done that. I'm pretty sure Steinel just calls. I'm sure all those guys are also worried, you know, about sound as well as accuracy. And so we've been able to see some of those things. Uh, this suppressor is not the quietest. Now that we're gonna have three or four different suppressors that'll shoot 338, we can do some more testing with that. So that'll be coming up here probably in a couple of weeks. 
This was a fun build. Let me know if you've seen the Bear Creek bolt action before. They also released a 308 size of this, so you could build yourself an 86 blackout or a 338 arc or a 6 arc or a 22 arc or a 300 blackout or a 308 um, supersonic. So lots of choices. I love the choices and the options. Uh, that's what keeps me going each day. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, if you want to tell me about your build, do that down below. I love to hear about them.